ओके जी अस्सलाम वालेकुम बेटा आज का जोलॉजी 404 के साथ हम लोग मस्कुलर सिस्टम और वर्टिब्रेट्स को पढ़ेंगे हमने जो है वो मस्कुलर सिस्टम इन वर्टिब्रेट्स के अंदर भी देखा है मस्कुलर सिस्टम जो है वर्टिब्रेट्स के अंदर देखेंगे उनके लिए रिस्पांसिबल मस्कुलर सिस्टम जो है वर्टिब्रेट्स के अंदर दैट इज बेसिकली एंडोस्केलेटन तो एंडोस्केलेटन दैट टाइप ऑफ स्केलेटन इन व्हिच इंटरनल बोन्स मसल्स प्रोवाइड अटैचमेंट अटैचमेंट साइट एज वेल एज शेप और मेंटेनेंस टू द बॉडी so body endoskeleton in vertebrae allow for the movement through contraction of muscles attached to the skeleton there uh, uske baad aapke paas aa jata hai musculoskeletal uh, system kya hai to so, musculoskeletal system yehi cheeze milkar bana rahi hai aapke paas first of all skeletal system muscular system cartilage tendons ligaments joints and other connective tissues that supports and binds tissues and organs together comprise the musculoskeletal system what is muscular system muscular system in vertebrates we can say that it is endoskeletal which allow for the uh, muscular movement and what is musculoskeletal movement when skeletal system itself as well as muscular system with attached other connective tissues are involved then muscular system is formed or musculoskeletal system is formed after that what are functions of musculoskeletal system or muscular system in vertebrates they basically provide voluntary movement uh, of the body enables uh, breathing blinking and smiling so all the movement if there are some kind of movement in your body you can see for example uh, jaw movement your movement of hands or uh, you delocalize from place to place then all types of movements involve muscular movement or contraction of uh, muscles allow you to hop skip jump or do push ups maintenance posture that produces heat उसके बाद जी मस्कुलेचर और फिशेस को हमने डिस्कस करना है कि फिशेस के अंदर जो है वो मस्कुलर सिस्टम कैसा है इन वर्टिब्रेट्स वी स्टडी फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी टॉक अबाउट स्पेसिफिकली ह्यूमंस देन देयर आर बंडल्स ऑफ मसल्स बट इन केस ऑफ फिशेस देयर आर डिफरेंट सिस्टम ऑफ मसल्स रादर देन बंडल्स ऑफ मसल्स देयर आर लेयर्स ऑफ मसल्स इन सम फिशेस ईच सेगमेंट ऑफ मसल्स इज कॉल्ड मायोमियर और माइटोम so in this diagram you can see this is basically muscles these are arranged in a layers but not in a bundle each muscle is arranged in a 3d pattern in a shape of d so this is one muscle when a number of muscles attach in this pattern that is d shaped then this pattern will be formed as you can see in this diagram so this is the uh, structure of muscles in uh, fishes the myomere are not flat sheet of muscles but are folded into a 3d shape you can see here that it is folded into 3d shape the muscles of the upper half body are lay, uh, called as apexial muscles and those or we can say that these are upper muscles or apexial muscles and those of the lower half body are called hypexial muscles and these are also known as lower body muscles the so body is basically divided into two parts on the base of muscle upper uh, body muscles and lower body muscles upper body muscles are involved in the movement of upper parts of the body and lower body muscles are involved in the movement of lower parts of the body which are also involve the tail movement as well डायग्राम uh, से जी आप लोगों को पता चल गया होगा उसके बाद हम पढ़ते हैं कुछ एवोल्यूशनरी uh, हिस्ट्री के बारे में कि एवोल्यूशन फ्रॉम इक्वेटिक टू ट्रस्टियल एनिमल तो इक्वेटिक से ट्रस्टियल एनिमल में कौन कौन से एडवांसमेंट आए फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अपेंडेज फॉर लोकोमोशन सो दे डिवेल्प वेरी फाइन अपेंडेज फॉर द लोकोमोशन सेकेंड मूवमेंट ऑफ ट्रंक बिकम लेस इंपॉर्टेंट so second advancement is here uh, in terrestrial uh, organism is that they use uh, less trunk uh, or le uh, trunk movement they have reduced as compared to the aquatic organisms if we trap the evolutionary history third advancement is loss of uh, segmentation or we can say that segmentations of uh, myomeres lost in the trunk muscles as we have seen in the case of fishes there are presence of myomeres or segmentation of myomeres are present we call these segments are myomeres or mitomes so mitomes are present in the case of aquatic organisms while in terrestrial these segmentation of myomeres in trunk region basically in trunk muscles or trunk region is lost
so there this is a third uh, fourth and last advancement in the uh, case of uh, trustial animal that is the involvement or development of more powerful back muscles as compared to aquatic organism so uh, next we will study about the skeletal system or skeletal muscle system which is involved in the contraction of muscles in uh, uh, higher organisms including human as well so st structure of skeletal muscles basically four component or four constituents compose skeletal muscles we know that skeletal muscles are those type uh, those types of muscles which are striated as well as those type of muscles which are attached to bones for the movement of uh, bod different body parts so there are four constituents of skeletal muscles first is muscles muscle fascicle muscle fiber and muscle uh, fibrils or myofibrils so where the word is myo myo means muscles something is related to muscle so first of all muscles are those type of tissues which are attached to any bone for the movement of that bone is known as muscle and in the contraction or in the movement of those uh, that specific part of the body muscle cells involved as we have studied in the topic of skeletal muscles that muscle cells are those cells which have ability of excitation or contraction so on the base of this contraction of uh, these cells or muscular cells we can say that muscles can contract and relax muscle fascicle as a whole a bundle is known as muscle fascicle as you can see in this diagram this is known as muscle fascicle and in each muscle fascicle there are number of muscle fiber which are basically muscle cells and in each muscle fiber there are number of fibrils which are known as myofibrils after that what are muscle fibers constituents and what are filament or myofilament and what are basic parts of myofilament so first of all we will discuss about uh, muscle fiber muscle fibers are muscle cells which are involved uh, in the contraction of muscles muscle fiber contain a ball or a membrane as we can see in the case of a simple cell which contain a cell membrane so membrane of muscles is known as a sarcolemma sarcolemma is that membrane of muscles which cover the internal part of the muscles as in the case of cell membrane so here we called it sarcolemma so in the case of muscles the internal organelle is internal constituents ball of the muscles we named it separately as sarcolemma is for the membrane of muscles sarcoplasm internal cytoplasmic material of the muscles are known as sarcoplasm in the same way uh, if we uh, talk about reticulum endoplasmic reticulum of muscle cells then we named it as sarco reticulum which contains calcium ions and those calcium ions are basically involved for the contraction of muscle so sarcolemma wall of the muscle sarcoplasm internal material then myofibrils each muscle fiber as i have discussed each muscle fiber contains a number of myofibrils my what are myofibrils we will discuss in next slides but um, we through uh, a minor definition of myofibrils myofibrils are long filaments which run parallel in the each uh, muscle fibers are known as myofibrils myofibrils contract and relax due to contraction of myofibrils basically that specific part of muscles contract as well as relax myofibrils further comprise of two specific type of proteins on the base of which we say that this skeletal muscle is striated so those specific proteins are actin protein and second one is myosin protein actin protein form lighter uh, band or lighter filament myosin form darker band so we can say that the pattern of light and dark band give a, a, a sense of striations so on the base of this actin and myosin filaments arrangement we say that skeletal muscles are striated after that actin filament what they contain actin filaments so actin filament first of all uh, they contain a specific complex or pattern of two other specific protein one is troponin and second is tropomyosin 
tropomyosin and tropo a troponin basically join together and form a complex on the actin structure and avoid the site for the attachment of myosin to actin so here in this case it is basically for the avoid of actin to attach with the myosin or to form cross bridges between them so in this case or in this state we can say that muscle is not contracted and in at this state muscle is at relaxed phase so these are actin filament involved proteins which is a complex or conjugate of tropomyosin as well as troponin until or unless this complex is present muscles will not allow to show a movement or contraction when tropomyosin or tropo, uh, uh, troponin complex is uh, broken down or detached from this actin and it exposed the site for the myosin attachment and there is a formation of a fine um, cross bridges then that part of muscle will contract definitely when myosin filament are present then we called it as a thicker filament when actin uh, filament are present we call them as a thinner filament so the pattern of thicker and thinner filament give a sense of a lighter and darker band or we say that this is a striation now we will discuss about the myofibril structure uh, we have to discuss myofibril structure because this is a basic or core concept for the contraction of muscles so to understand the contraction system or contraction uh, of muscles we have to study thoroughly about the myofibril structure so myofibrils are long filaments that run parallel to each other to form myofibers as we have discussed in previous slide myofibrils are made up of repeating units called sarcomeres so sarcomeres are those functional units which are involved in the sliding movement as we will see in the sliding uh, filament model so sarcomeres are functional unit of myofibrils which slide um, across the actin as well as myosin filaments on the base of which muscles contract sarcomeres are responsible for muscle contraction myofibrils are made up of two types of filaments as we have discussed thin filaments which are made up of actin and thick filament which are made up of myosin protein these are contractile proteins so here is a fine structure of myofibril structure so this a uh, whole structure or whole cro uh, uh, cross section of a muscle is known as a fascicle this one is a whole and it contain a number of muscle fiber this one contain a number of muscle fiber in each muscle fiber there are number of muscle uh, myofibrils muscle fibrils or myofibrils and myofibrils contain a number of actin and myosin filaments or thick or thinner filaments which uh, uh, give a dark and lighter band sense so there is a sarcomere from one z line to another z line this is known as sarcomere which i called it as a functional unit of muscle so what is a z line z line is basically that central line which is present in lighter band theek hai lighter band jo hai ya jisko hum thinner filament keh rahe hain wo basically actin filament ka bana hua hai ek cheez ye yaad rakhni hai actin aur myosin filaments ke andar actin filament specifically or purely formed of only actin protein so these um, uh, uh, constituent or compose thin filament of muscles in the center of each thin filament we called these thin filament also as isotropic so that's why we named it as i band as you can see in this diagram here you can see i band i band contain only actin filament or thinner filament and that central line which cut this i band is known as z line so from one z line to an other z line a functional unit of muscles reside here which is known as sarcomere from one z line to another z line so z line is centered in the i band or isotropic or thinner or actin filament then what is a band a band is that band or that darker band which contain number of myosin as well as a lower number of actin filaments 
so when a specific section contain actin as well as myosin filaments then their type of <coughs> section is known as a band so a band contain collectively actin and myosin but the number of myosin is more as compared to actin filaments in the center of a band there is a central line present which cut or which transect this a band this is known as h zone so this is h zone which is present in the center of this a band so this is the overall structure of myofibrillar structure uh, uh, maybe uh, you come to know about the z line z line is that central line which is present in the i band or isotropic band or thinner or actin filament from one z line to another z line there is a functional unit which is involved in the contraction of a uh, contraction of muscle which include the sliding of foot thinner filament or thicker filament so thinner filament and thicker filament between these two z line slide over each other in a parallel fashion which is involved in the muscle contraction so this is a cross section of myofibrillar structure